Hey guys, streamer 37 x here. It's really hard staying quiet during those opening sequences, by the way. Um, this is Epic Battle Fantasy 4. Uh, just got it a couple hours ago. I only just got back from vacation a couple hours ago. I was at uh, Disneyland down in uh, Orlando, Florida. I'm not going to talk about that right now. This is just going to be a short little, uh, I guess, introductory video to my series on Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So, a couple notes while I uh, just kind of go through the title screen. I'm not actually going to start the game this episode, but uh, just it's just an introductory thing because I just got back, like I said, and <laughs> I just kind of want to relax. I'm going to have some catching up to do because I also missed a couple days of school. But, a couple notes. One, uh, well, I just got through the first one, actually, is that uh, video production might be a little slow, although I do plan on recording some... Uh, some Super Hostile number 2 Infernal Sky with Adrian a little bit later. Uh, I guess some notes more about this particular series. I, You might notice the, the banners on the side. Normally if you're in full screen mode it displays banners like that, but um, as I'm playing in windowed mode I went ahead and recreated the banners to the best of my ability. So as you see I can't actually mouse over them because uh, they're just images I put in with OBS. Hopefully they look good. I just used the uh, the picture that Matt posted on his blog as a template. Uh, also, these are some of the... Oh, that's right, that's... Oh, just give me a moment. Sorry about that. I wanted to have open the differences between... Or, like, basically the reason... Here we go. The reasons you should have the Steam version over the web-based version, because this is the Steam version that I have right now. As I said earlier, because I did buy it. Okay, here are the reasons why you should buy it. It includes the Congregate Premium Pack, which adds 8 new bosses, 27 new equips, 8 new skills, huge new area, survival mode and boss rush challenges, and a new game plus feature with higher level monsters. All of that will be I'll be getting to later on in the series. Supports for different, as you can see, your different window sizes and full screen resolution and stuff like that. Uncompressed audio and various visual improvements. So it's in like Super HD now and it's amazingly beautiful. Integration with Steam's achievements, trading cards, most importantly, cloud saving. Yes, I love cloud saving. It makes me angry when Steam games don't take advantage of that. And it comes with the soundtrack, which I believe is located in the install folder for the game. Uh, on the subject of soundtrack, I will be uh, labeling the songs as we get to them, because if you go to the gallery here, music, you can listen to all the songs right here. The opening sequence there is another epic adventure, as you can hear, and this title screen music is a piano cover of Astavius, which was the title screen music in Epic Battle Fantasy 2, or not 2, 3 which was the, the first game of the series that I really enjoyed, and it was amazing. I might do a series on that game at a later point, but for right now, we're sticking to this one. Mostly because it's on Steam. <laughs> um, in the gallery here, there's a couple other things. There's concept art, which uh, I'll get to later. Normally, the first time you go into there, also you get, uh, I think, uh, Art Appreciator Achievement uh, and Metal, which, as you can see, there are a ton of medals in this game. A whole bunch. You get this one for going into the art gallery, and then this one you get for, uh, yep, smashing 100 dials on the loading screen. <laughs> so we're clicking randomly makes the game load faster. Uh, I think, I think that's just about everything I wanted to cover. Uh, I have played this game. Oops, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, you saw nothing. Okay. That was an accident. I meant to continue. Yes, I haven't played on this particular one, but on my old computer, I played through this game, I think, for, I don't think I actually, I don't think I got to the very end, I got to like the last area, and then I stopped. It was quite unenjoyable because uh, that computer sucked and it lagged a lot, but now, with my new computer, I'm running it at high graphics, everything like that. Oh yeah, I'm also playing on, <coughs> sorry about that, I'm also playing on epic mode, <laughs> which I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm doing it, so... It should be interesting, at the very least. I did play through the f uh, the third game on Epic Mode, although uh, I actually don't recall it being too bad, but I did have a lot more experience with that one because I had played through that game at least a couple times. This one I've only played through once. Anyway, I'm rambling now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Stick around within the next couple days for uh, the actual uh, the actual start of the series. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.